Okay, so Griffith's Quantum Mechanics, problem 2.23. This one's kind of fun because it's just uh, using the direct de delta function. Um, and we, he just gives us three integrals to evaluate. And they're really nice. So uh, this one is evaluated from minus 3 to 1. And it's an x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 times the direct delta function x plus 2 dx. Okay, so um, this direct delta function, why, right, well, um, uh, if we have a, a d, a, a direct delta function uh, x, it equals infinity when x equals 0, and it equals 0 when x is not equal to 0, right? And if you integrate over it, then you get 1. So um, when this thing inside here is equal to 0, we'll get 1 times this evaluated at that point. Otherwise, this will be zero, and the integral won't give us anything. It'll be um, so you can kind of, um, if we're taking the integral right, and uh, and we kind of, as we go from minus three to one, say here's minus three and here's one, right, and we just kind of have a a line, just imagine this, right? And you're kind of scanning this line across, um, and then summing up the area as we go. Uh, basically, we have a spike. In this case, it's at minus two, right? Because when minus two plus two, you know, equals zero, that's when the, the delta function exists. All right, so. So right about, right where I drew the line, ironically, um, that's the only line that actually counts. Everything else, this whole function is multiplied by zero and collapses down completely. So long story short, when we evaluate this integral, all we have to do is take this piece inside here, right here, and we just plug in a minus two. So we get a minus two, and, and this only works because our limits of integration encompass this point. If we were integrating from here to here, we'd get zero completely because the direct delta function is zero everywhere except at that one point of x equals minus two. All right. Okay, so I'm just writing the minus two in parentheses so it's all nice and clear. And oh, there's a cube there. All right, so uh, minus two cubed is a minus eight, minus three, so there's a, a four here, so we get a minus 12. Here we get a minus four and a minus one. So this is equal to, so this is 20, 25, minus 25. There's our first integral. All right, on to the second one. Integrating from 0 to infinity of cosine of 3x plus 2. And direct delta function is at x minus pi. So first we ask ourselves, um, where does this equal 0? It equals 0 at x equals pi. Right, so x equals pi is the um, location that we're concerned with. Then we look at our limits of integration and we say, is pi in between zero and infinity? Yes, it is. So our answer is cosine of three pi plus two. All right, cosine of three pi is a minus one. And so our final answer is one. 
All right, and for part C, we have kind of a weird integral. Um, going from minus one to one, we have the exponent of the absolute value of x plus three, and then our direct delta function of x minus two dx. Okay, so the first thing we do, we find out where this delta function is non-zero, and that's the only point that's going to count, um, and, it, and, and this happens at x equals two, okay, two minus two equals zero, so the direct delta function goes to infinity at that point. We check our limits of integration, which go from minus one to one, but we find out that uh, this point x equals two is not contained within our, our limits of integration, right? It's greater than one. So uh, this direct delta function is zero over this entire range, and that makes the entire integral equal to zero. So that's the third one.